Ultralight Backpacking and Survival Tips with Steve Gilman. You can see in an area like this in December in Colorado there are some patches of snow and the leaves are all off the scrub oak up here. But the other thing you notice is that it's not easy to find a level place anywhere around here to set up a camp. And fortunately on top of this ridge there is this spot here. So that's what I'm going to try to use. When you find a site like this, the first thing you want to do is make sure there's no big rocks here because little stuff can be removed easily, but if you get it all set up and there's a point of a big boulder buried here that's sticking up into your back, there's not much you're going to be able to do about it. But uh, basically, just throw any rocks to the side and sticks to the side to uh, prepare the site before you set up your tent or tarp. Okay, I've got a big tree right here that's probably just out of the camera view, and I've got a little tree behind me. They're probably 10 feet apart, which makes them perfect for stringing my tarp between. This is a tarp that weighs about 14 ounces. It's about 16 ounces with all the strings in this little mesh bag that I carry it in. And I'm going to just break a few more branches off of the dead branches off of this tree and string it between here, and then I'll show you when it's done. It took about eight minutes to set this up. It's only about three feet high in the center. You can see it's strung between the two trees here. And I don't bring tent stakes. I use rocks. I make pegs out of sticks to stick in the ground. I tie the strings to logs and to small trees like this. And to bigger trees, of course. And that's there's always more than enough out here to tie your strings to, I think. And Underneath you can see that it's a fairly level spot here and I have a, a little ridge line, a string that runs underneath which I hang socks from to dry and things like that. <clears throat> and I used to camp on just a two ounce piece of plastic underneath this and even in snow and rain stayed pretty warm and dry that way. But now I tend to use a screen tent so I'm going to cut out right now and uh, set up the screen tent and I'll show you that. Home sweet home. The uh, screen tent is set up underneath the tarp. It's a one-man screen tent. Just enough space to sleep and put a few things next to you. And normally I uh, set this up at an angle so I have some space under the tarp to hang out outside of the tent because it does get a little bit crowded in there after a while. But between them, the uh, tent and the tarp and the carrying bags, all together it's about a two-pound shelter system which is getting pretty darn light to have mostly all weather protection and protection from bugs as well. There are some pretty light tents out there now and uh, you know a tent is an option as well as a tarp but one thing I like about a tarp and a screen tent under it is you still have all of the bug protection and when you're in a windy or rainy situation with a tent it's really hard to set it up without rain getting inside the tent it's very messy with the tarp you can leave everything packed up and just put the tarp up and set it up a little higher if you want so you have room to work under it and then you have a dry space to work under for uh, you know unpacking the screen tent and everything else so that's an advantage of using a tarp system like this. There might come a time, whether your uh, backpack is dragged off by a bear or your tent gets shredded by the wind or you lose it when you're crossing a lake, who knows, where you lose your shelter, your tent or your tarp or whatever you have, and you have to consider emergency shelters. Always keep your eyes open for one of the easiest ways to make them. Uh, in the winter, that means burrowing down next to a tree in what's called a tree well. Uh, in some areas, it's simply getting into a cave if there is one. Here, I'm walking along and I see a, a little ledge here. And if you look, there's all sorts of dead wood here, but you can quickly lean against this. You're not going to have a lot of space under a shelter like this, but you will be able to get out of the wind and the snow with the snow and uh, get a little bit of protection from the cold. So 
I'm not going to make the whole shelter and make you sit here while I do that, but I would first of all probably have leveled this off a little bit, make a level spot to lay down, pile these sticks up, pile more sticks on those. If you can find some uh, vegetation and dry grass, you might uh, put that on top, block out the wind. And probably in about 40 minutes time, you can have some kind of shelter here and crawl under it to keep out of the uh, cold and rain and snow. If it rains heavily, it will probably come down around the rock eventually. So this isn't ideal for a heavy rain, but just to keep you out of the cold, this will work just great. You could even put a little fire off to one end. My motto is, if there's a safe way to survive, it probably makes for bad television. I always look for the hardest way up the hill. Thank you for watching Ultralight Backpacking and Survival Tips with Steve Gilman. For more information, you can see the ultralightsite.com, the ultralightbackpackingsite.com, or buy the book Ultralight Backpacking Secrets, now available on Kindle and Nook.